Hello, I'm Drawing Pin, and welcome to another episode of Motorsport Manager, where we're playing as Predator Racing Group, and we're doing the Underdog Challenge, where we have to win the World Motorsport Driver and Team Championship in the same year, and we have got off to a actually really good start. You know, we've had uh, drivers. I think, uh, yeah, Lester kind of missed out a bit on the Black Sea, uh, but then she made up for it with a win in. Um, in Munich and Porter's been first and second so yeah we're kind of romping it home I think this time round so since our car's only fifth though fair enough that's uh, that's good but uh, let's get to the mail anyway and we'll start uh, going through it uh, we had a mistake free weekend yes we did We've got some scouting reports but to be honest I think those are people that are uh, way outside our uh, yeah they'd be like one of the top drivers I'm pretty sure those people are in the World Motorsport Championship ah the gearbox is done and we've got an interview so we may as well take it take it oh, i'm just gonna go with yes yes i'm a genius why not <laughs> and we'll get to the car uh what do we want to build we've got the best engine gearbox i think i think we'll slap another gearbox out i think i'll leave the engines for now because we've got the best and then we'll probably work on brakes and suspension and we'll just probably just build one more gearbox i don't want to go crazy on the parts um, I mean we could always build like that if we have to or something but uh, I doubt I'll build an illegal one we'll see how it goes but um, let's build that uh, while I talk and I don't I don't think we'll build any illegal parts because we're probably going to promote but you know it's two races in so we'll see how we go by like China or something um, let's check out the pit crew as well because they're probably going to need some a little bit of swapping around um, who do we like the look of uh, we'll go with you I've still only got the fifth best pit crew. Okay, that's uh, interesting. And we'll go with you as well. Let's look at the new hires just in case. Well, you're definite no. I don't even really need to look at you. You're no either. I kind of want people with, you know, 12, 13 refuel. Like that guy's pretty good. 12, 11, and he can also jump on the front jack. You know, that's somebody like that's pretty cool. But he's got a mistake chance. We'll get rid of him. Um, I don't think we'll hire anybody in jail, shall we? Let's let's hire another one. Why not? We got we got the money. I think I think we've got to start throwing some money at this now. Um, there we go. Uh, shall we put? Uh, we'll leave that. And I think that's we've got a full almost a full roster of pit crew. So I think we're good for that. I don't think we're gonna buy any more pit crew. Uh, we, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like that's like well, most sport champion. Yeah, I was uh, doing that. So let's just roll it on because the car's going to be, yeah, there we go, finished. So we'll go and check that out now. We're building a gearbox. We will try and get this gearbox. What's Tom Della? I think it's gearboxes. Yeah, so it's gearboxes. We want to work on that engine, to be honest. What happens if we throw that in there? Let's take that out. Put that in there. Stop doing that. Thank you. Um, yeah, if we could do, I mean, to be honest, the gearbox gap's not that bad. We kind of want this engine up, I think. Uh, everything else is like 80%. Yeah, everything else is fine. We'll just try and get this gearbox and engine. I think we'll just work on those two parts. Let's take that one out. And to be honest, we should take that out and put that in as well. Work on those two bits. Uh, we're probably going to build brakes. Let's get rid of the brakes and we'll just focus on these bits. Get those up to speed. Right, I'm going to roll it on for a bit and we may drop out. No, we'll probably, we'll probably just leave those. It should get to around 80% or so. So... Let's, uh, let's roll the time on. Oh, Deborah Lester is taking acting lessons. So that's a plus 10 marketability for 20 weeks. So, yeah, we're slowly crawling to that. Uh, our max port has gone down. Slowly getting there. We're like, uh, what, 4.3% off getting the five stars. Um, which, to be honest, obviously the the pay is really good. You can get like a, a, a fixed payment of like one point. 1.2 million or something, one and a quarter million, something like that is, is like really good. Um, but that only pops up every now and then. But you know, a lot of them, you know, 800k a race, etc. So that's really good. The downside is you get these higher ones, which generally, like this one, you know, requires you to hit high marks, which we're not going to do that. So, in some ways, the lesser sponsors are good in one wreck. If we get up to Asia Pacific, we're not going to hit first. Yeah, you know, we're not going to get fourth. We, we're probably not even going to get 12th in the first season. So, you know, so there is that. But anyway, let's roll the time on.
Right, so we've got a, I think we've got a vote. Um, what? They want to replace, we only just put Beijing, they want to replace Beijing with Cape Town. Okay, well at least we're not replacing, I don't know, Munich or something with uh, Cape Town and just, you know, turn the European Racing Series into the Asia Pacific Super Cup or something, but uh, well, whatever. Um, uh, to be honest, I think I'm probably just going to abstain from all of these votes. Um, because we're probably not going to be in this series, so I don't really care what happens. So and just build up some voting power so we can force through like high merit payments and that sort of stuff. I think and downvote things we don't like. So let's just abstain from that because I, I don't really care. Um, oh, it's failed anyway, so that's fine. We only just put Beijing in last year, so uh, to vote it out again seems a bit crazy, but okay. Right, here we are. We're about ready to go to Tondela. Um, let's just check out how that... Oh, 98. Yeah, we'll, we'll drop those out now because they've done really well. Uh, we'll put... We'll leave, yeah, we'll put that engine in, actually, because uh, we don't want that, though. Go, like, 15 apiece. Get some of the uh, performance up because we're probably not going to replace... Not probably not going to build a third uh, great engine because we've already got the best engine, so I kind of don't want to spend too much money on the car because we're going to ditch all these parts and go back to square one essentially in the Asia Pacific Cup so you know we don't really need to focus too much money or time on these bits um, those are really good we'll get the engine up to speed just get a bit more reliability on that and then we'll probably work on the brakes and suspension we'll probably will build some uh, where are we probably build some brakes because you know our brakes are awful and uh, we've got another gearbox on the way, so hopefully that uh, bumps us up a little bit. And yeah, our brakes are terrible, and our suspension's not the best either. So probably work on those two areas once we've got the gearbox, because I think we'll be fine after that. Right, let's get to Tondela, and we will select that one again. I think we're just going to go for that every time. Oh, Deborah Lester is not happy. Um, let's give her that. And she's still not happy with that. Okay, well, to be honest, I don't think she's worth it I'm, I'm in two minds as to whether to keep her we'll keep Porter because we got him for like three years and he's going to cost a lot to break his contract and he's apart from his smoothness he's a pretty good driver so I think he'll do us fine in the Asia Pacific she I'm not overly impressed with her performance so I'm in two minds I may get rid of her at the end of the season uh, we'll see uh, we got a gearbox uh, we'll give that to Lester as well there we go she'll be happy with that now so there we go she's got the better engine and she's got the better gearbox so we'll we'll see if she performs and we'll go from there and they're both de he's delighted she's happy so that's that's a good thing all around right what are we high wear we're medium we've got 32 laps of fuel it's going to be I think probably the soft tyre because we're going to want to try and do two stints, uh, two stops. So probably going to be the soft tyre. We're going to have like a 12 lap fuel tank, something like that. So probably go with the soft tyre. Right, as always, I shall cut away, do some practicing, and I'll see you back at the race. Now, welcome back to race day here at Tondela. We had a dry practice, and I think the race is probably going to be dry as well. Yeah, I'll have a look. We could do with another forecasting centre, but. Yeah, you know, oh, I managed to get uh, uh, but knowledge on both uh, both the tyres, but um, I think we're probably going to go with the soft tyre for you because that would be super overtake with you. Uh, but yeah, we've got like 13 lap fuel tanks. So I'm kind of tempted to go because you can't make it. You know, he can only make those last like seven to nine laps, so we're going to have to pit him like three or four times. So um, I think we'll probably go with the soft tyre for the first stint. Uh, what was the tyres the last in on that one? Yeah, so I think maybe drop a lap of fuel out of you. I think she will make it. She potentially make the super softs last that long, actually. she's No, she'll only get like 9 to 11 laps. Um, kind of tempted to put her on the supers for the first stint. And then leave her with a full amount of fuel. And then she could probably go on the soft tyre for the second part of the stint. She could probably burn them. Um, Go quite heavy with the uh, super overtake mode and really take advantage of that in the first stint, I think. Um, 
think that's probably what we're going to do. Uh, now let's drop a lap of fuel as well. Because we've got 13 lap fuel tanks, so we should be good. We should be okay. Uh, what are we... There and there. Yeah, we'll split this driver strategies as well. And then we've uh, got two different tyres. We'll see which one works working the best. And we'll go from there, I think. Okay, right. Let's get to it. I think the people at the back are probably... Yeah, I think most people are actually going to go on the soft tyre and go long in the first stint. So we'll see how this works with Leicester. She's got a super overtake mode. Let's watch her, shall we? She's got a super overtake mode. So, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, someone's locked up. Randerson locked up into the first corner. Didn't crash, but he went wide. Oh, yeah. She's going. She should start cutting away through the field, I'm hoping. Uh, let's go times two. It's the car that looks very similar to ours again. <laughs> yeah, she's double, double purple. She's up to... Oh, my God, up to six. I think she's probably going to smash that lap time. But uh, Costello, Costello did a 107, we did a 107.5, yeah, which is absolutely destroying that time. Okay, we're going to have to back off the tyres in a minute though. So yeah, Costello is flying though, absolutely flying, it's on the soft tyre, super soft tyre. Right, let's go down to that, and I think you'll do the same, and yeah, you're, you're cutting away, Deborah Lester's just got another fastest lap again. 1071. So yeah, we are definitely the quickest. So like, Kranz, get the heck out of my way, will you, mate? Yeah, Costello is really flying, but uh, we got good, we got good reliability with all our parts. And it's like 80% plus, so we should be good. How are you doing back here? You're doing okay. You're on the slow tire. So oh, hello. There we are. Well, that was an easy one. And we'll just bring the bring the heat down on those tires and just conserve now. I think I'll probably put too much fuel in you, so I think that's uh, it's a little bit of a negative, but we'll keep it going. And to be honest, I think we may just conserve your tyres, because even though you're on two different compounds, she's able to just maintain the tyres just so much better than she can. Uh, he can, sorry. Uh, Max Porter's just going six. Let's have a look at him. Yeah, he's doing good. Getting there, six, that's fine. She is on the quick tyre, so that's good, but she's going to have to pit soon. Uh, Lundqvist down here. Krantz is just holding us up in front, so get out of my way, man. Yeah, I think she did a better tyre because Stella is just flying, but they're going to come in a bit sooner than us, I think. Yeah. Weather looks good. So let's just keep, let's just keep keeping on. We'll keep that as is, that's fine. Uh, yeah, you need some uh, you need some traits really to help out with that uh, race performance. There we go. No, come on, around the outside. There we go. That's released you. Let's let you go now. We'll keep the reserve. I think we'll just keep conserving. Oh, Sir Costello's just going for it. So, okay, yeah, you're coming in the pits as well because your tyres are just totally gone, and Costello will be coming in the pits as well because uh, their tyres are pretty gone. Yeah, everyone's in the pits. We're going to keep going. Uh, we'll leave you down on conserving. Yeah, we're going to worry about the fuel. Don't worry about that. Let me worry about that. Um, I think we're probably going to do at least another lap. Or oh, probably another two laps. Where's Costello's 19? He's put the uh, soft on. Yeah, I think that probably is going to be the tyre to go on. So... Let's let's go. Let's bring you in now. I think. And let you go there. And we'll stop pushing now. This lap. We'll bring you in. And I think we're gonna go on the soft tire. Fill the car right up with fuel. Do a nice long stint, and then we'll uh, see where we're at. Probably just go. Stark. Yeah. Let's go fast because that's gonna get us a few extra seconds. Let's risk it. Let's go. And meanwhile, to be honest, you can probably start pushing because you've got plenty of tyres and you're going to come in this next lap anyway. So start uh, getting some. Uh, getting some. Oh! Got me rear jack. Damn it. Come on. Yeah, 1.3 seconds. That's killing us, that is. Costello is just ahead of us. 
So I think you're going to just stick stick what you're doing, and we'll fill you right up, and then we may go supers at the end or something. But we'll let's let's risk it. We've got to risk it. Okay, we're fifth. Uh, Costello is yeah, it's like six seconds up the road or something. So uh, that's not good. But uh, we are. Well, we'll see what we're not really sure with our lap times yet because we're just doing our out laps, so it's going to be a bit off at the moment. And we'll try and keep that going for a little bit longer, but I uh, don't think we're going to go too much longer. Third's coming in. That's good. Costello is just eating those tyres. So, speaking of which, we're going to have to back off, I think. Let's back right off now. Yeah, we are, uh, we are re there he is, we're reeling him right in, she just put a fastest lap in. Let's back you off as well now. And we'll keep, we'll keep the overtake going for another lap, I think. Why not? Uh, he's probably, yeah, he's sort of doing what we're doing, he's got medium engine mode, he's conserving. So, oh, oh, oh there we go. And pits as well for uh, Fuentes, I think that was, so we're... We're aces, yep, that's good. Right, let's keep that. We'll go high now, and I think we'll start conserving your tyres. We've got Krantz, but they're on the supers, so I'm not too worried about that. They're uh, different strategies here, so they'll be coming in in a couple of laps anyway, so. Probably got too much fuel, but we'll see. I don't know. I think we're okay, actually. Right, well, Leicester's way out front, so really, we just got to. Let's focus on Porter now, so. I think Krantz is probably going to come in this lap. If he doesn't come in this lap, yeah, he's in. So that's fine. That's going to release us. What's uh, Porter's time is woof two seconds quicker than Costello. Okay. So yeah, I, mean, I think we're easily going to catch him in. We're going to reel him in, no problem. Yeah, look at that. We're we're reeling him in. So I think yeah, look at that. 5.6, 5.6. It's it's going green. Yeah, 5.4. We're just eating into that uh, lead, and he's gonna pit in the next couple of laps. So I think I think that's fine. That's good. We'll just keep going as we are. We'll go up to neutral. Just see if we can close that out a little bit more. Maybe just let's go overtake for a lap. I think as well. Let's really try and close him in before he gets to the uh, pit stop. If we can. Oh, ran, Grandson ran wide again, really? Yeah, that's twice he's done that. 4.5. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, he's really going for it. I suspect they're coming in there. Their laps, let's, let's push ours as well. Burning the fuel down, but I think it's probably worth it. Let's just go to high now. Try and close that gap a bit. And to be honest, you may as well just stop pushing, I think, because you've got loads of uh, tyre. Yeah, oh, he's getting a part fixed as well. Okay, that's that's even better for us. Uh, we'll just switch you down, I think. Cause, uh, yeah. yeah, no, we'll switch. switch you down because you're now, uh, I think you're kind of, I think, uh, yeah, look at that. That's like 30 second gap. He's put the supers on. He's going to have to stop again. Um, if we can make it, we can stop one more time. That's kind of what I want to do. It's got his Leicester's so far out. She could probably stop twice. Uh, to be honest, I think that's maybe what she's going to do. But we'll see. Because she's going to come in this lap anyway. So let's push it. Yeah, your tyres are going down. So let's bring Leicester in. We're going to go, I think we just go straight into the soft tyre and try and go long. We did manage to do 10 laps on the super soft actually, that's pretty good. We're going to try and get to the end I think. And to be honest, let's just go with the balanced one. I don't think it's worth risking it. She's got like a, well she's still like 32 second lead and he's in the pit. So I don't think we really need to, oh god hang on, she's going to feel, uh, no she'll be okay. Thought it was the big bit with the tail, but no, it's not that one. 
Okay, right, you come in now. I think we'll probably just go mid-high with you. And I think we're both just going to go on the soft again. Because he's not going to get... Uh, not going to get those to the end. We'll fill it right up as well, I think. And to be honest, I think we'll just go balanced as well. It says we're going to come out in second place. Should be better exit well ahead of him, so that's fine. I think that's a good one. Let's do that as well. Might as well push. Yeah, yeah, we'll push. Why not? And then. We will switch the engine right down because uh, there's not much point in pushing it. Just going to overtake, going to retake for a oh, mistake on the fuel. Damn it, 2.3 second mistake. Seriously. Still, we've got plenty of room. Uh, you're going to pit again. Uh, Stark's on the super soft. I'm pretty sure they're going to pit again. So uh, they're going to pit again. So. To be honest, we'll probably switch you down after the first, after the outlap, I think, because there's no point pushing it, I don't think. Why, why push it? We don't need to. We'll just switch it, both go yellow, and we'll just keep going. How's the car look? Front wing's looking a bit, uh, a bit uh, careworn, and yours, yours are looking okay, actually. So. And, I mean, what were our lap times? 108.2, yeah, that's, damn, that's fast. Uh, we had a fastest lap, I haven't seen anybody else's fastest lap pop up, but uh, may just go for that at the end, um, see if we can get a fastest lap or something, but to be honest, I don't think we really need to worry about it. We've got a nice lead, you're going to come in anyway, you're going to come in, you're going to come in, so really Costello, who's, uh, what, 20... 25 seconds or something, rough maths in my head, behind, so I don't think Port has really got anything to worry about there either, so yeah, look at that, we're just absolutely slaying everyone this season, I think it's going to be a walk in the park, and it's going to be between which driver wins, by my driver or Leicester or Porter, I mean really, it's going to come down to, uh, we might as well get times four to be honest, because there's just not really anything to do now. Uh, 5.1 and 5.14 so good uh, front wings looking a little bit shady but of six laps to go I'm not too worried and to be honest she could probably pick get that fixed and still come out and she wouldn't win but she could come second so I don't think it really matters um, uh, who's going to win there so I'm kind of I'm leaning towards let it fudge in it so Porter wins the championship to be honest. If we get rid of anyone, it's going to be Leicester this season because we've got Porter for three three seasons. It's going to cost like two million to break his contract. He's a decent driver, so if we get any rid of anyone, I think it will be her. It just depends what money she wants. Um, oh, yeah. The front wind's looking great, but we'll, uh, we'll shoot for a fastest lap in a couple of laps' time. And see if we can get it. We'll do it with both drivers. And uh, you know, we'll see which one there gets it. Let the fuel burn off a bit. Uh, we'll put yours up actually, burn a bit more fuel. So he's got a lot more fuel than she has, so uh Yeah, your tires are a bit worn, that's fine. Okay, right, let's uh, crank it up, cause it's going to be the last lap, so let's go for it, and then we'll do the same with him. See if we can get uh, fastest lap. No times two for that now. So she hasn't improved that first sector, nor has he. And she's not improved the second sector. Uh, she didn't get the fastest lap. Was he going to get one? No. But to be fair, the tyres are getting close to the edge. And 11%, I think it's 10%. So, you know, 
that's good another one two job done and we were well what's that 30 seconds almost ahead of uh, third place that's Porter so she's 44 seconds ahead so yeah pretty comfortable victory there <laughs> Uh, you know, much more to say there. That was uh, easy going. And there we are. Maximum points haul again. Deborah Lester got the fastest lap. So that's good. And yeah, uh, close. Two points in the top. And uh, to be honest, Fuentes is still, you know, we have a bad race. Uh, he's there. I think the team championship is going to be a slightly different story yet. Yeah, 27 points. So, you know. That's, uh, that's fine. Right, let's see the stat gain of Leicester. Yeah, her just her stats go up so slowly. That's the, that's the thing. I didn't think they were that bad when I when I hired her. But anyway, oh, she got a trait. Rival with a driver. Goa uh, Minza. Okay, fair enough. She's got a rival with a driver. So, uh, yeah, that would be good if we hired her. But uh, anyway, yeah, your uh, mechanic relationship's slowly going up. And that's good. Chairman's happy. 2.8 million. That's always good. And yeah, we're uh, let's get it on. We're sec first and second. And yeah, I don't I don't see much going wrong with this uh, this season. But uh, that could be uh, could be a case. Oh, it's going to be wet and right. Oh, then fair enough. Uh, that could shake it up a bit. Uh, we had two mistakes. Yeah, she wouldn't drive. Got to arrive with a driver. Drive will not join a team with their rival. So. That's fine now. I doubt I'm going to. Uh, oh, gearbox. I doubt I'm going to hire her. And let's take the interview. We might as well. Simple. Which one's our better driver? Uh, we'll say Lester because she. Ah, I think she's got like a trait that drops her down, doesn't she? She's like permanently stuck at that, I think. Uh, gearbox is built. So let's go and check out the car, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Based on that performance, I don't really need to build any parts. Parts. I think I'm going to build a couple of. At least a set of brakes. But I think we're probably just going to save the money because, I mean, given that dominant performance, I don't really think we need to build many parts this season. If many, if any, this season, to be perfectly honest. And we could just keep bagging that almost three million a race and, uh, you know, put that towards some HQ buildings or something. So or drivers or staff or something. So uh, speaking of staff, it's... Uh... Yeah, we possibly get rid of her when we get to Asia Pacific, and I might get rid of that dude as well. And see if we can uh, get someone with. Uh, to be honest, I might get rid of Becky if we can find someone better for a uh, someone with super overtake mode. Basically, I want super overtake mode. Um, so yeah, we may go with that, and we possibly just got the entire staff and start again. Uh, but anyway, let's get to the pit crew. And we shall swap some more people out. Yeah, you're tired, so we'll put you in now. And we'll just keep rotating a few people out, just make sure everybody's fresh. Uh, there we go, we'll put you in. And we'll probably swap you as well. Uh, put you in. We'll have a uh, quick check we'll get rid of some of these people just gonna keep getting more people popping in that's fine um yeah i like this guy we may hire him in and we could uh, start cutting some of the staff like this guy who's kind of although i'm not too sure what the asia pacific crew layout is i can't remember well motorsport championship it's like the formula one there's like one person that does tire so each you know, each one of these guys would do tyres, and then somebody, two people would do fixing, two people would do refueling, and then there's the jack. So there's like, uh, yeah, there's a big pit crew, and you've got like five spare people. Um, I'm not sure how big the pit crews are in the Asia Pacific Super Cup. I can't remember. They think they're bigger than this. This is a really small crew, so we may want to hang on to these people for a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I think that's what we might want to do. Uh, let's just roll the time on because the car's going to be repaired in a second. Okay, yeah, car's repaired. It didn't. Anyway, I missed a miss that. Didn't actually say it. So yeah, the car's repaired. Let's get that gearbox. Uh, I'll put that uh, gearbox in as well for some work because we're probably not going to work on those. We'll get like 
five staff working on the performance and we'll get everybody else on that because when's those breaks they're going to be pretty quick two days okay then in that case we kind of want everyone just working on that i think get that get that up to speed and then we'll try and throw the uh we'll try and throw the um brakes in as well and try and get those up to speed and probably build another set of brakes i think it may be a suspension actually brakes are finished so let's go and i think we'll go and chuck a uh, do you know what let's do more brakes they don't take that long assuming we've got some good uh traits i mean those are okay and then yeah that's probably we'll just build two brakes i think and that'll be that'll be good enough build some suspension and then i may just work on those parts and we'll just keep an eye if we drop to like second or fifth or something on the you know on the gearbox we'll chuck another gearbox out but i don't think it's worth spending parts because money on the parts because you know given the first three races we're probably going to leave here so I, I don't think it's worth uh it's worth spending money on the parts so let's roll the time on oh no hang on i didn't put the brakes in did i yeah let's put the brakes in and we'll throw those in as well for some work that's good and yeah those will be done three days before the race so yeah let's let's just get everything really reliable or i'm going to come back and check on that um what are we like sort of 15 days before the race or something and we'll see where they're at okay so the simulator where's the simulator it's uh, there it is so I just put the simulator in that's for the rear wing so we're not going to use that this year but it helps with uh, some of the consistency and adaptability traits of the uh, helps them level up a bit quicker so you know it's good and we're going to need it for next season i kind of tempted to just throw that in now and then that's all the bits that's the hq's got first level of every building um and then we'll probably just leave the rest we could do the forecasting center because that could be really handy no i think we'll do the i think we'll do this so it's going to help feedback so let's get that in as well then that's probably it we'll just save our money and uh yeah then we'll just save our money try and keep hitting that uh, sponsor target as best we can okay right we have a dilemma for max porter and uh, whippy's been an absolute nightmare okay problems with another driver who is this dude so why do we really okay why do we even care about this guy he's like zrt he's probably like right at the bottom of the championship what do we anyway whatever uh he does not only constantly belittle me when take when talking to press but now he's saying i'm not as material what should i do aggressive or hard worker i can't remember what a hard worker is i'm not sure that it's permanent um i can't remember i think aggressive is either overtaking or breaking or something like that so i think we're going to go with that one let's have a look what it actually did uh aggressive overtaking yeah i thought it was like breaking or cornering or one of those um i think ha, ha, you know hard work might be like fitness or focus or something i'm not sure but uh, overtaking that's cool i know what that one did so let's go right let's roll uh should we have just have a quick look at the car see how that's doing yeah they're getting nicely nicely up we'll roll that on for another another like week or something and see where they're at right the brakes are done so how are those other brakes doing they're not bad uh what if we throw those in gearboxes what are we gearboxes are fine um that will probably let that roll for a few more days and then we'll try and focus on those brakes the question is do we design any more brakes i I think we'll build a suspension let's throw a suspension out there i think that's probably a good idea uh, but as i say i don't think i'm going to spend too much more money on on parts might build like a set of suspension set of, you know we've got a set of brakes set of suspension got a new set of uh, engines and gearboxes and then probably just get all the performance up on those reliability and then probably just leave it at that because I say the car's dominating anyway, so I don't think we need to worry too much about that. And we'll just keep an eye on how well our parts are doing in the race. And you know, we may uh, we may uh, invest in something, but I think we're probably just going to save money now. So uh, yeah, let's we'll, we'll roll that on and see what happens. 
Okay, um, Deborah Lester's got a divorce proceedings. Okay, just divorced Trey. It's only temporary for eight weeks. She gets plus five marketability. She's lost a focus, which I don't think she's got much of that anyway. Yeah, that's not good. I think that's one of the traits that, one of the perks, the skills, sorry, I'll get there in the end, that denotes crashing, which I think is why she's crashed a lot. So she doesn't have much focus. So she's got plus five marketability. Yeah, is that going to help us out at all? Ugh, no. Not really. So close to that marketing. Uh, anyway, uh, that's good. Let's check out the car whilst we're here because I've just dropped a couple of the parts out. Brakes got up to 88 and that gearbox uh, got up to like 90, so I think that'll be fine. Um, and then we'll just get these brakes up, get the suspensions built, and then we'll work on the reliability and performance of all these bits. And I think that's probably going to be it. All right, these are all done now. Uh, well, 98, let's just throw like that in there. We'll throw the gearboxes in as well. Yeah, that's good. We'll just get all that stuff up to speed, I think. The other, the one engine's done. We'll get all that up. Uh, where's the brakes? We'll put those in the performance as well, and then we'll just focus on that. But we're about ready to go to our den anyway. So uh, let's move it over, and we shall select that one. We've got some brakes to fit and some uh, gearboxes as well. Yeah, gearbox. Let's give Porter a gearbox. We'll give Lester some brakes and we'll give Porter some brakes as well. So that's good. And then we've got some suspension on the go. Yeah, it's going to be ready as soon as we come back. And then uh, it's not really done much for our brakes, but still. And then we'll build one more and then that's it. So what are we? Low. It's low wear. It's high. It's going to chuck it down in a race. So we could gamble and just go with one of the wet tires straight away and just ignore the soft tires. Mm, that could be an idea. Okay, right, let's let's uh, do this. I'm going to cut away, do some practicing, and I'll see you back at the race. Welcome back to race day here at the Ardennes circuit. We had a dry practice, and I went with the super soft, and I did some on the intermediate just because... It's going to rain at some point, but yeah, it's going to be like, uh, it's going to be like lap eight or something, lap nine, we're going to want to come in. Um, but then what it's going to do after that, I really don't know. It could just be a shower and we come in again in lap 15, 16 for the last stint. I really don't know. Uh, we're just going to go super overtake with you and it's car setup. I think we're just going to leave the nine laps of fuel in. We'll go with the super softs because he can make them get to, get to the end anyway. So, uh, you know, I think that's probably worth it. And, I mean, yeah, it's going to be like lap. Yeah, it's going to be like lap eight or something. We're going to want to come in. So I don't think we're going to go too heavy. I think she'll probably make those. Like, yeah, she'll make those last quite a while. So that's good. And, yeah, I'm not going to drop any fuel out. We will go attack. And we'll go super overtake for like one lap and then we'll switch it down. Um, we may even just go. Joel, we'll go high. I really don't want to come in and, you know, I want to come in at the right point and start putting put the tyres on when it starts raining. So I think we will uh, we'll just go high for the first lap. Probably going to be a little bit slow, but I think we'll try that. But we'll attack for the first lap and then we'll probably switch the tyres down as well, especially on you because I'm worried you won't get to the end because you're uh, good, but your smoothness is awful. So, uh, you know, there we go. Slowly cutting our way through the field. But uh, we've not got the speed because we're not, but everybody's, yeah, pretty much everybody's going uh, overtake mode. So, uh, you know, we're a bit down on power there. Uh, yeah, let's just switch it up for this straight, shall we? So we can get some extra speed as we blast down the straight. There we go. Let's keep it going for a little bit longer, because, yeah, as soon as we put this up, we're just cutting our way through the field. But right, go back down to high. We'll go back down to high for you. Actually, we'll go uh, medium. Let's drop everything down now. Keep you going on high because you're probably going to come in first. Yeah, let's back up on those tyres as well. We'll conserve on those tyres a little bit. Yeah, we're at the back, but I'm not too worried because everyone's gunning it. 
everyone's really going for it. And so I think uh, I think we want to stay out and pit, pit and put the into straight on. I don't really want to come in, do like three laps on a soft tire or three laps on the wrong tire or something, and then you know have to come back in again. I don't think it's worth it. I think we're just going to stick with this strategy. Um, yeah, we're not we're not gaining many places, but I'm not too worried at the moment. So uh, we've got pretty good tyre wear. That money, on, extra money on the chassis, whilst it's only half a star, it's given us a bit of extra tyre wear. And uh, Leicester's really good on our tyres anyway, so you know that really helps out there. Uh, we'll just keep the tyre temperatures down because it's yeah, it's really hot actually. It's probably more like uh, soft tyres, isn't it? Look at the temperature. So we're having trouble uh, get, losing the heat off those tyres. So. Yeah, probably a soft tyre might have actually been a better choice. Yeah, we're uh, floating around at the back. We're 11 seconds off the front. So that's not good. We're Stark and Costello are right up there, but they're probably going for it. They've switched down now. Oh, there's your rival. <laughs> Webley. Is that quite why you got a rival with this guy? I have no idea. So. But there we are, whatever. It is what it is. Yes, yeah, so you'll get four laps now, I think. And we'll bring you in in a few laps time. It's going to start raining very soon. So if we can get another three laps, yeah, we should be good. Just as so long as the tyres last. Because people are going to have to start pitting soon. But I'm hoping this strategy is going to pay off. It's a gamble, but it's worth it, I think. Yeah, we're making the tyres last, so that's good. So we get another two laps, we get three laps out of you. Um, but we've got to keep an eye on the weather. So it's going to start raining at some part of the next lap. Here we go, it's still raining now. Yeah, it's a little bit early to be honest. But, uh, yeah, people are coming in and putting the inters on. Um, Yeah, let's bring you in. Let's bring you in and put the inters on. I think we will do that. And then it's going to drop off. Oof. Lap 16. What are we, 7? If we fill it up, we might be able to get to there. And then uh, let's go with the fast one as well. So you come in. And then we're going to crank you up as well. And you're going to go as well. And you'll do, do another lap on these tyres. And then you can come in. Yeah, I know you want inters. That's fine. But we're going to, going to still be reasonably quick. Oh, Jack, man, man. They just keep screwing me over all the time. Jack again. Right, inters. Go there. We'll fill right up again. Going to risk a... Yeah, let's just go with a balanced one, I think. It's not worth risking it. Yeah, three point. Oh man, the jack cost. Wow, did I say 3.2? Anyway, yeah, that's just cost me a bunch of time. Tyres are really uh, hurting, but that's okay. We're in now, there's just a massive gaggle. We've got to got to get out without any mistakes. We might have to jump someone in the pit stop. Right, there we are. We've uh, not really jumped anyone. There's just a huge pile of us. And you've got to switch those, uh, switch those down, I think. And to be honest, I think we should probably just uh, switch the engine down as well so we can conserve. We'll try and cut our way through the field now. These guys are still out on the soft tire. Okay. Fair enough. We'll push hard for a lap and then we'll turn it right down. Uh, we might need to back that up actually. See if we can just cut our way through the field a little bit. No. Let's back up on the temperature a little bit. 
and you're backing up as well, that's good. Let's go conserve now, we'll push that up a little bit. Yeah, it's the it's still really hot, so let's back that up as we'll go to conserve now. And we'll try oh somebody just crashed. Okay, Matt Schneider. Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, Porter, has he got a rock solid? He's got his aggressive overtaking as well. She just divorced and uh, adapted in life's changeable conditions. So, oh yeah, that's come in now. Um, she gets that when she's on like the Inters, I think. So that should help her out a little bit. Uh, we might just want to turn her engine down a little bit and so she can be on a different fuel strategy to him. No, she's okay, actually. I'm looking at it now. So he's going to try and get another four laps. Um, I think we may actually conserve it on both drivers. Let's try and extend the stint a little bit. If we can, because we're going to have to. Uh, we want to come in on lap lap 16. I think we should be okay, but just save a bit of fuel. I think. Uh, 136.6, 136.0, 37.0. So not great. But uh, we could probably go there with those. We'll probably go there with those as well. We'll just keep saving that little bit of fuel. I think. Should stop raining soon though. So I think we'll, yeah, we'll save that fuel and then we'll probably go medium. On the, on the engine mode for the rest of the stim. So he should be okay, he should have about three laps. I think it's just under a three laps actually, the fuel that you burn, but let's be safe. Yeah, there we go, he's got plenty of fuel now, so let's go up to there. She probably just needs one more, uh, one more half a lap or something like that, I think that'll be fine. Thirty-six five, thirty-five three. okay. But they are turn the engine up high. Yeah, as we're still raining, so I think we'll stick with this strategy, and then we'll probably go with like the soft tire, I think, because it's a bit too hot for the supers. And we'll then just go for it. Try the gate. Oh, someone's getting. Ah, look, someone's coming in for the super soft. Costello's put the super soft. Yeah, I thought so. Porter's made it into first place. There we are. That's good, he's going to do one more lap. Oh, she needs to go uh, higher, didn't notice that. Sorry about that, yeah, it's it's like, it's too early to put the uh, soft on, but it's kind of too early, to, it's too late to put the inters on, so, yeah, the people that have pitted have kind of had no choice but to put the supers on. I think soft tire myself. That's my thought. Right, let's go up to high. Load of fuel in, and mm, let's go with the super soft. It is the faster tire. I'm just worried about that temperature, keeping the temperature down. Let's risk the fast one as well. We'll go supers. Let's do it. And then you're okay. Let's really back up those tires for a little bit. Those guys should be really suffering on those super soft tires, to be honest. In this. Uh, this surface is uh, not super soft tyre weather, is it really? So, and then she's going to do another lap because so I think she'll be okay. She's going to go like overtake and like that or something. There we are. That's good. Right, he's going to push it out of the gate. We'll just go push. Don't want to heat him up too much. Bring her in. She's going to do the same with a set of supers. Go like uh, we'll go like seven laps of fuel, and then we've got extra to burn if we need to. Gonna risk the fast pit as well, I think. Keep an eye on that fuel because I'm a little worried that we might not get to the end. Drop down to height.
There we are, we're in. Okay. And now we need that we need that to uh go where's Porter? He's here, he's chasing Costello. I think Costello is gonna get us on the corner yet. Let's keep the engine up though. Let's just push on that. Yeah, we're reeling them in. We'll keep that going. The tyres are getting really hot, but uh, drop that to overtake now. Yeah, I know the uh, I know the engine's looking a little ropey, but we've only got four laps to go. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Come on, come on. Nail him. There we go. No, 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 no. Don't come back at us. Come on, man. Blast pass. There we go. No guess about start. Okay. Let's back it up for a lap. And we're going to have to uh, manage your tyres as well. He's probably... Yeah, he's starting to conserve those tyres. Let's back off now a little bit. Because the engine is looking a little bit shaky. How's yours doing? You're okay. Fifth though. We've got we to gotta back that up. Gonna back up for two laps. We'll keep the uh, keep the engine. We'll go down to medium just to uh, serve a bit of fuel. We'll keep an eye on Stark as well. I think we're okay. I think we're okay where we are with him. Just keep an eye on that gap. He's started to push again. But we've got two laps to go, so I'm not too worried. We're gonna try and lose as much uh, much tire temperature off as you as possible. Let's go high down the straight. Okay, and let's go. Let's go overtake, and we'll go push. See if we can get past uh, 2.3. I'm. F I think we're okay with her or him. Sorry. Oh come on, man. Battling with Stark again. And then we're going to go super overtake for the last uh, last little bit. Oh, yeah, I don't think we can uh, let's go super overtake now. Yeah, we just can't overtake him for some reason. I don't know why. The inconsistency of Deborah Lester continues, I guess. Uh, what are they doing? Yeah, I mean, they're attacking on the tyres. Yeah, they're kind of doing the opposite of us, really. Let's just attack as well. Screw it. Going to get really uh, hot tyres, but let's go. Come on. There we go, that's one. You've got a problem. Come on, your tyres are going to go off the cliff but, or degradation. But there we are. There we go. Go, 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 go. Third, right. Okay. Yeah, I think I think she lost out with a pit stop as well, which was a bad thing. But, uh, yeah, that, that was good, you know. Wasn't the dominant performance of the last two races, but or three races, but you know that, that was a pretty good one. First and a third, I'm pleased with that. Yeah, you know, as long as we get that sponsor target, that's all I really care about. Ah, we didn't get fastest lap. Okay, you got fastest lap. Well, fair enough. You know, not maximum points haul, but pretty close to it. And uh, we're still on the podiums anyway. And yeah. I think Porter's probably going to win it. And yeah, we're starting to extend our lead now. Uh, Silver, where does Silver come? Because they're doing well on the... Uh... Okay, where did... Uh... Start, okay. Uh, I mean, I guess they had probably bad race because they seem to be fighting these Zampelli people. So, uh... but Silver, I guess, have been putting in uh, just some solid performances. Fair enough. Right, let's see the stat. Oh, Porter doesn't get anything, of course. Uh, Lester, she's slowly going up. That smoothness is going up. Lovely, though. So that is really good. Um, the mechanic relationships going up. Chairman's happy. 2.8 million again in the bank. Right, well, that was another two good races. We're first and second in the championship. We've got a, what, 30, 36 point lead, I think. Yeah, we'll say 36 point lead. So, I mean, you know, we've pretty much got a race ahead of everybody. So, 
yeah, that's good. We've had podiums. Apart from Leicester, we've had podiums. Porter is just smashing it because uh, he, apart from his smoothness, he is the better driver. He has half a star extra than she does, so she's got great smoothness. And uh, but her like braking and consistency and stuff are pretty awful. So, um, you know, which explains why she is very inconsistent. Um, you know, his is slightly better. She's got focus and stuff isn't very good either. So, you know, that's good. But we've got the second best car now. Okay, yeah. So I don't think I'm gonna do much more. A couple of another suspension and then I'll be it. Drivers a second. Headquarters and staff. Yeah, I'll probably replace the staff for next season. Our sponsors are. Uh, I was probably we've lost it yeah i've lost a bunch of sponsors so uh, oh, we haven't got that sponsor anymore so we'll have to uh, hopefully get another one and yeah that one's up as well so yeah a bunch of sponsors up in the next uh, couple of races so that's good but for now i think i'm going to call this one here and end the episode if you like that one please give me a thumbs up comment with your thoughts down below subscribe for more i really do appreciate it stay safe out there people and i'll catch you next time